everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary. This is Rosemary's You Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you. I truly appreciate it. If you're checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Welcome to Workshop Wednesday. All right. I am continuing to work on my butterfly journal and it is almost done. Uh, Jack has to punch the holes in the spine so I can attach the signature and then I just have to attach the closure and it's all done. I am really, really pleased with this. I think it's a step up uh, from my first journal. The quality is a little bit better and thanks to my dear friend Melissa over at By Mimi With Love for all her um uh, tricks not tricks this girl can really uh put a journal together all her uh insights and um just help with this journal and i really do appreciate that uh on sunday speaking of melissa i was on a live with melissa and melody and i did show this signature this is the first signature and then uh on monday uh, I was uh, video chatting with Annie, my dear friend Annie, over at Annie Creates, and uh, Melissa. We were just crafting together. It was a lot, a lot of fun. And I put together the third signature, and that is this one here. And uh, I'm not going to go through those completely right now because when this journal is completely done, I will do a, a thorough flip through. Uh, however, I do want to show you the second signature. So this is going to go between uh, those two signatures. I wanted to create a signature just where someone can write in. Uh, just uh, all these pages just to write in because it is a journal. So I started out by using this beautiful, beautiful textured paper. It has a lot of glitter, but it doesn't fall out. And I got this uh, textured paper when I was in Utah visiting family. Uh, my sister-in-law went to the American Crafts Warehouse and I found uh, a whole paper pad and it has different um, uh, tones of textured paper, different, some have glitter, some don't. Beautiful and I'm thinking perfect, perfect, perfect for journal making. So I measured my paper and I wanted it to be a trifold. And to embellish it, I used uh, these butterflies I got in friend mail from my dear friend Kim over at Kim's Inspired Life. I fell in love with these butterflies, so I used both of them. So I'm going to show you the cover for the second signature. So here it is. I folded it in thirds, and then on the inside... I glued this paper that came from that paper pad that has all butterflies, and I think it's from Hobby Lobby. So that's how that is. And then inside are all the writing pages. And I'm going to just kind of quickly flip through. This is um, that that starts off the writing section is. Uh, media paper you know where you can paint on and, and do all sorts of stuff so I took a page out of that and distressed it this is I think it's it's grid paper but um, Jack had some in his office and I ripped a couple of sheets out <laughs> from that pad uh, he doesn't care um, then this is some copy paper that I distressed now a lot of the corners may have butterflies like that one right up there more of the copy paper, more of the um, grid paper, more copy paper with a butterfly, uh, more grid paper, more of the copy paper that's been distressed with a butterfly. And then here is the center, and then the, the rest of it's, you know, identical. So this is um, the same uh I think it's two pieces of copy paper. Yeah, I wanted to make this center piece thick enough because this is where your band is going to go that attaches to the spine. So I don't want it to cut in. So I made that a little stronger and then added butterflies for embellishment. But I wanted this to be where someone can just write. 
So this is how this is going to go in. So here's the trifold, and I'm going to put it right there. Let's see if I can do this. And then it's going to um, close like this. And then here is where the band, no, the band is going to be here. That's right, because it has to hold all the pages in. It's going to go right there, close like this, and close like this. And that is the second signature. So, again, I am going to do a complete flip through once it's all completed. But I am just so excited about this. And I have just fell in love with journal making. So, speaking of that, I'm thinking ahead on my next journal. And the theme for my next journal is going to be birds and birdhouses. The reason why I picked that is because I was looking for images for the butterfly journal. And, you know, I was looking through all my stash. And I... Um, have a lot of calendars. Well, I thought I had some calendars with butterflies, but I think I've sent those out in friend mail. But I do have a lot of birds and birdhouses, beautiful ones. So I that's how I picked that theme, is because of that. So I was thinking I want to create some more distressed pages like I've done for the butterfly journal. And so um, I was watching YouTube and I came across this video, this lady had made stencils out of her dyes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that is that that gives you a, a million possibilities. So what I did is I took out some of my tree dyes. And I just took these ones out. Uh, I'm going to be making more, but these are the ones I wanted to use, these dyes here. So what you do with your dyes, and I, I may... Uh, once I get going with making more stencils, uh, I will do a video on how specifically this is done. So what you do is you um, first laminate a sheet of paper. Now that sheet of paper can be cardstock, uh, copy paper, anything, whatever you want. You laminate it. Uh, you know, you put it in a, a your a cardstock in an uh, laminating envelope run it through your laminating sheet then you die cut whatever you want to create a stencil so then uh, you know you pop all the pieces out and you come out with something like this this is laminated on both sides so now you can use this as a stencil and I thought that was amazing so I will be stenciling um, trees uh for my bird and birdhouse uh journal and i thought this was great i mean how many dies do we have in our stash that we can turn into stencils i thought that was amazing now this is the one that's laminated on both sides i don't know if you can tell that okay and this one too okay now at first uh, she had just laminated one side. So what she did is put two pieces of cardstock in the laminating envelope and then she cut the, the edges off, you know, the excess, and then peeled it apart. And so you have one side that's laminated. And so that's what I did at first. So this side is laminated, this side is not. But then I'm thinking, I'm going to be putting paste on this. That's going to ruin that side. So then I decided... I am just going to laminate uh, or put the cardstock in with one sheet of paper. You know, then then it's laminated on both sides, and uh, then that'll protect it from the stencil paste that I use. So that's how I did that, um, and I I will use these anyway. Um, so I'll, I'll be using those uh, in the journal anyway. So I thought that would be kind of cool to create. Um, just backgrounds of trees and then what I'll do is um, I could stamp but uh, I'm still on butterflies birds and stuff like that so I am thinking ahead on um, creating uh, backgrounds for the bird and birdhouse journal so just a little a sneak peek on what I uh, did yesterday a little bit so, uh, again, I will come back with a uh, thorough flip through of my butterfly journal. I am just pleased. I'm so pleased with this. 
Uh, so that's all I have right now for workshop Wednesday, um, getting together with my BFF Camille. And I think we're going to um, try to make bracelets. Now, she's made bracelets, uh, which I didn't know. Uh, she's always made bracelets or has made bracelets for a long time, and I really want to learn. So we're going to get together and uh, see if we, we can get that that done and see if I can learn some stuff and uh, start making bracelets because I really have a lot of beads and I am um, uh, want to learn how to make bracelets. So, oh, the other thing, speaking of beads, I do still need to put together and make a tassel for my butterfly journal. So I've been thinking about that and seeing what uh, I want to do uh, to create a um, tassel for this journal that's going to just, you know, complement it. So I'll be doing, when I do the uh, thorough flip through of the journal, I'll show you the tassel I create. All right. That's all I have right now. I'm also working on my song for Thursday's tunes. So busy, busy all the time. Thanks for hanging out with me for just a bit. I truly appreciate it. Till next time, be safe, be happy, be positive, and you guys rock.